So here we go again, um, after work session. Not been here long, about an hour and a half, I think it's about seven o'clock. Um, I've not long had my rods in really. One with Big Stu, um, he is there, next, bivvied up next to each other. I'm just fish, fishing here next to this little hut. So I've just come out the wind a minute because um, it started raining and it was forecast lovely weather and that's why we've come arranged to come tonight and we've got in and it started blowing a gale and it's gone black and it started spitting so it's not looking good for the weather to be honest uh, i've got to be off early in the morning but uh yeah we're hoping for a bite i'm uh well Stu's on he's on boilies i think and he's got two different boilies on a smelly one for the cat and then like um well another smelly one but not as fish mealy one for the carp so i at the moment i've got my receiver there out the rain i'm at, at the moment i've got two rigs on with um, worms on but i keep getting bleeps and it's already annoying me because i think the little ones are attacking it and all the roach and stuff in here I've done it before and I've never had a problem but I've put both rods in within 20 minutes they've started bleeping and one stopped bleeping which tells me that there's no worms left on it so the other one's just been bleeping as I was just coming over to the hut um, just like one or two bleeps so I'm going to reel one in if all the worms have gone I ain't fishing them tonight I won't mind you on the day when I've got to keep recasting but there's no way I'm going to bed tonight and then I've got no bait on in the morning so if that's the case, I'm going to just fish for the carp and uh, just put some solid bags on my usual. I thought I'd try something a bit different tonight, but um, it's, a, it's a bit late to start messing around because it's going to be dark in suit, dark in about an hour, if that. So yeah, um, that's the plan. I had worms on, but I think I'm going to change them, but we'll see. So yeah, just on this little intimate water here, a little club water. But... Can be quite tricky at times this i'm fishing well what's left of the island <laughs> it's not much of an island now it looks like fred talbot's weather map but uh, yeah i'm fishing two rods to that one to just to the left of one in front of it got my markers on the horizon and Stu is fishing them lily pads there there's no one else booked on so he's fishing them lily pads there which we have seen two or three carp in when we first arrived so he's put one there, he's bagsy the best swim as usual and then he's got his other one in the corner there on these lily pads that are just coming up. I know why he's fishing there, it's because he had his first ever cat from there and it was £20, the very first time he ever fished here. So he's gone back on that spot. My rods are just, just there. So yeah, a little bit of a social tonight with what little time we've got. Yeah, I think I'm going to take these worms off. I'm not confident at all. And you can see the sky is going black and it's spitting now already. Ah, never mind. Uh, gutted. I even brought my surface rod thinking it was going to be warm. Jesus. I don't think there'll be much on the top today. I was just going to say, I've not seen a fish show and one's just shown in that far corner down there. But yeah, if I say anything Bosch Elves, I'm just going to stick a solid bag onto it. If it's if it's in reach right i think uh, i'm gonna reel one my rods in and just check there's any worms on it and then decide what to do before it gets too late so i've just brought the rigs in and they seem fine even though they've been getting a few bleeps so that's what i'm using i've got one with a feeder don't know why i just thought i'd try it and the other one is just on um my normal solid bag lead all both um what you call it free running so they just yeah both free running so yeah the old wormatron 3000 well there we have it i think i'm gonna leave them on for a bit i've got my solid bag ones made up if you change your mind there's big stew in bed tucked up already he's a soft git he's probably a bit cold Oh, it's probably a little bit cold. It's freezing. Is it? Heck? It'll it's be a wuss. So cold. <laughs> you said it's going to be gorgeous. That's why we've come. It's it, freaking it, crap. It, this isn't even forecast. It's weather. I've just checked the, the weather forecast now. It's, um, it's supposed to be dry all night and morning. Tomorrow. I don't think so. 
bloody freezing. It is freezing, isn't it? Yeah. Have you got a coat, you know? Yeah, it's in my car there, yeah. Which is quite handy because the car is just literally there. So it's not too bad. Right, I think I need some reach juice. I've had nothing to eat or drink, yeah. Warm myself up. <laughs> Well, rain's died off now, wind's died down, and it's not a bad night. How long have we got before um, dark, Stu? What time is it? Um, before dark, the time now, lad, is half eight. Half eight? Half eight. Get lost. It can't be, it's usually dark, isn't it? Half eight. It'll be dark in ten minutes then. Twenty past eight. Twenty past eight, yeah, it'll be dark in ten minutes, won't it? So yeah, I've kept my Wormatron 3000 on. Yeah, it is light, yeah. It was dark this time yesterday because I checked. So we've got the Wormatron 3000 left on because um, I brought it in and the worms are still on. So I thought, sod it, leaving it out until something happens. Seen a fish bosh to the left of the island and just after I'd done that bit of an intro thingy before, in the middle of the screen, one boshed out there between me and Stu. So we have seen a little bit of action now and usually this place switches on when it goes dark so we'll see. It's going down to zero degrees tonight I believe, Stu said, I can't believe that. I'm sure it's forecast like 10. We've had 11 degrees overnight and everything and we've decided to come in zero degrees. I know. I know it's been warm but like Stu's checked his phone and says zero tonight so could be in for a cold one, couldn't we Stu? I think Stu already is in for a cold one. <laughs> looks like he's on an Antarctic expedition. <laughs> I am freezing. I've got a jumper on and a t-shirt and he's wrapped up with his hood on and everything. I've got a t-shirt, a hoodie, a coat and an upcoat. <laughs> he's the coldest. <laughs> yeah, I am really. He is the coldest man I have ever known, Stu. And I've just noticed I've not pushed my rod in the older. That would have been good. Oh no, I have, it's my eyes. I thought my rod wasn't pushed in the butt grips then. Right, it's fingers. Well. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to get some meat because I've had nothing to eat and drink still. So I messed around doing some rigs thinking I was going to swap and I never, not bothered. So Bugalugs, what have you just done? <laughs> what have you just fucking done? I can't believe what I've just done. So we've just done like a eight minute video. <laughs> <talking> Top <laughs> commentary, follow me round, done hooking it, everything, the, the cat. Graham's epic catfish. And at the end, just as it went into the water, I looked at the camera like that to press stop and it was still blue and I went. He hadn't even pressed I've play, even pressed record. That. So we've just done a load of commentary and all this video in and nothing. We've not got any footage. Pound catfish as well. <laughs> it was it was about fifteen ish, about 15 fourteen, fifteen pounds pound or something. It was still a fish one, it was the first catfish of the season and the first one of the session. Yep. Never mind, Stuart. Sorry mate. Might have got a bit of footage playing it, so it yeah. didn't know it wasn't a blag. <laughs> yeah. Ah oh, Christ. Hopefully we'll get another. It's only just gone dark, hasn't it? So it's pitch black now, as you can see. 
but uh, yeah, went dark 10 minutes later, fish. So hopefully we'll get another. Don't want too many though, do we, Stu? No, we we work, work tomorrow. Each other. Yeah. Right. We're yeah, we're going to get our head down in a minute, just in case it kicks off. It's half 11, and since it's gone dark, the rods have not stopped beeping. Mine, anyway. Stu's crashed out about an hour and an half ago. I don't know how he does it, he just goes sleeping. But um, yeah, my rods, I had I had that cat, and he had a few beeps, and, and then he had a half a run, and then they just kept beeping again, so I've had enough. I've got work tomorrow, so I can't be up all night with little bits of runs, and I don't know if it's roach, bream, or what, eating the worm. So I've took them off now, and I've just gone back to me, um, I've got one on a solid bag with a wafter in, and then the other one's got a solid bag with a Ronnie in. And I've just pinged them out, I've not even used the bolt, I've just cast them out um, to my spot where I'm clipped up at. So, it's just gone half eleven now. I'm going to get my head down, hopefully now the, the little bleeps have stopped, I couldn't cope. Um, I wouldn't be bothered if it wasn't in work or it was daytime, it wouldn't bother me, but... I can't sit listening to that all night and then getting up at six o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Probably, I've had the cat, so I'm not too fussed. So hopefully I'll nick a carp now. But, um, yeah, I'll probably cut me chances of catching down a little bit because we've got manila, manila wafters on and boilies. So I don't know if the cats will be into them as much. Like the worms, they do like the worm. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Stu's, Stu's, um, I've just heard him moving, but he's, I think he's well away. I don't, he, every time we come fishing, he says, oh, I didn't sleep very well, and then he never flipping moves all night. He goes to bed, and then that's him done. Whereas, I'm always up and flipping, can't sleep and fidgeting and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to get my head down, and I'll try anyway, and then see if anything takes me bait, or Stu's. So, in a bit. It's a carp intrusers. What came for? Yep, nice common. Oh, camera's shaking then because I was shivering. <laughs> I'm just getting out of bed. Probably one of them we spotted earlier, wasn't it, Where? Yeah, probably. I was just drifting off to sleep. It's about half twelve. And I heard Stu's rods go, my heart sank, and I've got to get out of bed. I heard his bite alarm go. And I thought exactly the same. My alarm went and I thought, oh, I've got to get out of bed. <laughs> I'm shaking, mate. I can't keep the thingy still because I'm shaking because I'm cold. Can I freaking hell down? Where was it that time where every fish we caught was just booting off? Oh, I've just noticed it's only got one eye. What? It's only got one eye, this. It's Willy. Willy one eye? One eyed Willy from the Goonies. It actually is. Oh, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> right, we'll take your picture on the other side so you can see us. How did it find your baby one, eh? Good smelly boilie, eh? Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Good smelly, good smelly boilie, eh? Aye. Oh, sorry, Carp. So, there yeah. we go. There she is. But won't even give it, uh, won't even give it ten pound, would you? Nah, probably not. About nine but pound fifteen and a half. <laughs> I can't stop shaking. <laughs> Cold. Whoop. Can you remember every we went somewhere and every fish we got was kicking off, so we we, we stopped taking pictures. Michael Wright's flash does it with me every yeah. time we go there. There we go. Half past twelve. One Five cat, one cat. Today. Yeah. And it's freezing, isn't it? I don't look, I'm shaking, literally shaking. Bye bye, Carp. What is murky, is that, isn't it? Yeah, it looks weird colour. Okay. Yep. Six o'clock in the morning. What a khaki sleep I've had. Oh my word. I've had quite a few liners in the last um, 
two or three hours. Might reel in. Might reel in the minute. I've got a bream on. I don't know. Uh, I, had, I had I had a few lines. I had to have a couple of bleeps as well. I was awake every half an hour. Kept going dropping off and then get a few bleeps. Only like two or three. <clears throat> and then um, I get a few bleeps. Wake me up and then I'd have to try and get to sleep again. Hard work. Hard work to be honest. But my eyes are tired. But yeah, just the one cap for me and one cap for Stu. Can't believe he didn't film that last night. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm gonna have to have a pat down. Stu's probably awake now. I'm gonna uh, just have a good sleep, Stu. So I'll stick it while he's on, get the kettle on, and then start packing up. I'm gonna be off here for seven, I think. Uh, Hard work though, hard work doing these before before work. Not coming back here again. I'm gonna try a harder water for these midweek as like a limb veil or something. Might be another fifth another twenty minutes away, but at least you're not getting bleeps all the night and stuff. And um I'll probably get a better sleep. Alright sort myself out I think, wake up in a few minutes and then sort myself out bloody lovely would you believe it <laughs> and we had a fish apiece we had a fish apiece that's amazing I know I'd reckon I'd have definitely got more if I left the worm on but couldn't be doing with it couldn't be doing with it not when not I've got to go work in a few minutes so I think it's time for me to bring my rods in I'm near enough packed up uh, just got to put my boat away and a few little bits and bring my rods in. Would you come here against you on a midweeker? I've had a great sleep, honestly <laughs> God. I've slept believe. better than I do when I'm at home. I fell asleep at what, half nine? Ten? Ten o'clock, yeah. Ten o'clock. Woke up at half twelve that to a fish. run. Had a fish. Got back to sleep at half one or two or something like that and slept all the way through. Like a yeah. baby. I, was, I said how crap a sleep he had and then the first thing he did he went walked over to his brother and he went oh what a cracking sleep I've had I thought, oh, I'm going to kill him I'm going to nut him <laughs> I'd nut him but he's too big I'm going to get some scaffolding <laughs> and nut him oh I couldn't believe it the first thing he's out of his flipping mouth I was like is he rubbing this in has he just heard me <laughs> anyway right cars there just going to pack up the sun just come until up until next time until next time. At least we didn't blank, eh? I'm off. Stu's just uh, finishing packing off there. So I'm going to shoot home now and go to work. So until next time, catch you later.